this thing on? Oh, okay. Our generation spends a lot of time in front of the screen, whether you're playing Warcraft, or viewing your newest selfies, even watching Game of Thrones. But have you ever noticed how most screens are actually pretty similar? Here's a 42 inch TV. Here is a 24 inch monitor. And here is my huge phone. Even though the screen sizes are different, they actually look the same because they're made with exactly the same ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two things. Four apples to three oranges is a ratio. So what's this mysterious ratio that links all HD TVs together? Well, let's look at some screens and see if we can actually figure it out. This HD TV has a length of 32 inches and a height of 18 inches. That's a ratio of 32 to 18, because there's one compared to the other. Right now, I'm being projected on a screen that is 72 inches by 40 and a half inches. See, it's another ratio. And my jumbo phone has a length of six inches and then a height of 3.375. Even though all these ratios look different, they are all actually equal. Divide the top number by the bottom number and you get the same answer. 1.77777777778. And that's just rounded. This is the ratio of all HD TV screens, but it's more commonly expressed by 16 by 9. See, ratios don't have to be the same numbers for them to equal the same thing. It's a comparison. One other way to check to see if you have an equal ratio is plot the points on the graph. If it forms one straight line, then you have yourself an equal ratio. So what happens if we change the ratio of the image? For example, some movies are shot in CinemaScope, which is 2.33 to 1. If you watch a movie on your 16x9 TV, you'll notice little black bars at the top and bottom. Why? Because the ratio doesn't match your TV. 2.33 to 1 does not equal 1.78 to 1. That's why it doesn't look the same. Another way to look at it, if you were to place 2.33 to 1 on a graph, it would not be on the same line as 1.78 to 1. But if you watch this movie at your local movie theater, you won't notice the black bars at the top and bottom because they change the ratio of the screen to match the ratio of the movie was shot in. Say that you're projecting a film at a movie theater. You know your height is 50 feet, because that's the height of the screen. And the movie was shot in a 2.33 to 1 ratio. So you want to know how wide do you make the screen. You can actually use ratios to figure this out. So you have 2.33 to 1 equals x to 50. To get rid of the 50 in the denominator, you multiply the right side by 50. And you have to do the same to the left side, because anything you do to the right side of an equation, you have to do to the left side of the equation. 50 times 2.33 gives us the answer, 116 and 5 tenths, which is also 116 feet and 6 inches. Now, let's check out the movie. I think it's a horror movie. What's it called? So I found this weird skeleton key. Let's go check out that weird garage. Totally! Let's go. Oh god, don't check in the closet. Never check in the dusty closet. Rusty things are so cool! What is this? And that's because you might find one of these laying around. <laughs> this is a standard definition television and its ratio is four to three. By the way, ratios can be expressed by colon, four to three, verbal, four to three, or with a fraction bar. Some people refer to standard definition TV as 1.33 to one. It's just simplified. Either way, it's outdated technology. Oh, one last thing about ratios. The ordering is super important. If you have it length by width, 16 by 9 is not the same thing as 9 by 16. Because if it were, all movies would look like this. The cell phone screen. Probably the biggest thing to change the ratio of the screen since it was invented over 100 years ago. They do this, or how do they do this? Why? Because he, uh, can you say it one more time? So let's say you're projecting a film that's in the 2.331. Look different, but if you've do you just want me to do that again because I messed up? Yeah. Okay. You can actually figure out by how... So when you go to the movie theaters, you don't see the top... Six divided by 370... Gives us the answer. Which is the number I cannot remember. Totally messed that up. 
Okay. <laughs>